How's it going guys? Neo Gino here today and today we are unboxing a new special edition that just came out. This is the uh, the way it was shipped in to the game stops. And this is the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 mystery box. <laughs> Packaging. Could actually handle on this side. No. There it is. Still brand new. Ooh, it's actually got some weight to it as well. From what I hear, it's pretty good. I actually just picked mine up uh, today, which is Monday. I was gone for the weekend, so there's really no reason for me to actually get it until now. So, this is all of it. And I don't believe there's anything on the bottom. No, there is not. So let's uh, let's crack this bad boy open. What do you think? Scissors. From what I heard over the weekend, this game is supposedly pretty good. So that's good. I can't remember. The, I think the last Call of Duty I played was Black Ops 2. Honestly. Uh, Modern Warfare series were pretty good. Um, I didn't. I have the last one. I never got to play it yet. I opened it up. That was about as far as I got with it, though. Just don't have the time in the day play everything nowadays it just kind of happens when you're an adult I wish I had the time there's a lot I, I want to play recently I've actually been playing Mega Man the new one that came out on switch and that is definitely a solid game well, that's pretty neat let's put this over here that's, that's pretty neat actually I know this is very zombie based from what I understand I'm not really sure the characters in it like I said I didn't really get much into three I barely even played three I played two all the way around I'm sure there's probably nothing on the bottom oh there is stuff on the bottom that's pretty neat let's get in here now As of so far, this seems like a pretty good collector's edition. Some places skimp on them, I think. Others are well, well done. The battery. What's this? Uh, like litha? Is it metal? I think. No, it's not metal. Feels like metal. Let's take a look at it. There's a couple things here. Can't get them out though. They really make things really tight. Oh, they're like lithographs. They're highly done up. They're raised. I don't know if you can see the rays in them, but you see it probably in the back, maybe ish. Yeah, there you go. The rays, they're pretty neat. Titanic. Huh. That's 
interesting. This one's actually really neat. This is a like a zombie-ish one. That's pretty cool, actually. And this one's Blood of the Dead, which I have to imagine is zombie-based as well. So this is pretty neat. Here. There with it. Also in here, there's some batteries right here. Three of them. I don't really need them. We'll leave them in there. I have batteries. This is a tape bin. Oh, you can't even get to that actually. It's really in there. This comes out. There's the box. I see parts of it. That looks actually pretty awesome. What's this? Something in here. Oh, zombies 10 year puzzle. That's pretty neat. Thousand piece puzzle. Of course, that's like the new thing nowadays. People are doing puzzles. I remember when you couldn't sell a puzzle, now you get puzzles with everything. That was when I was younger though. out of here. Yes, I can. Is there anything else in here? No. I do not see anything else. No, no, no. Let's get this out of the way. Down to what really matters here. This bad boy. And there it is. That's the, the mystery box. The top is actually really really neat it's like a hardened plastic it's really really cool and uh, obviously there's a front and a back to it this is the back and I would assume this would be the front there's a face skull face there and they're all demons coming out this is really really neat Underneath of it, just molding. That's, that's really cool, actually. Uh, padding on it. Inside here, we have. Alright, we have this. We have a steel book. Steel books are always cool, and actually a game in it. So, steel book. A pretty decent steel book. A lot of people collect these. We have this thing. I'm not really sure what's in here. We'll find out though. What is this? A phone pop socket. Pop sockets. There. People like these things. I'm not really into them, but a lot of people go after them and have them. I'm old school and just use a can or something. We have this Black Ops, another thing in here. And these are all patches. As for different factions for the game, they're all actual patches. They're pretty neat. I think my buddy Bill is actually asking me about one of these. Huh. That's pretty cool. We have an official comic of Call of Duty Zombies. Hmm. This looks interesting. There's actually two of them in there. It has a poster. Let's find out. It's a pretty neat comic book. It's a comic, so there's definitely wall decently done. And this is just a poster of it. It's a poster of the comic. That's, that's, that's all right. 
that's okay. Still stuff in here, actually. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, don't really know what that is. Fig pins. Huh. A lot of people like fig pins. That's becoming a pretty big thing nowadays. It's got all oh, four characters on the back there. Sorry about all the glares. And then this comes out. And it looks like this is molded. It's like a rubbery feeling kind of inside of it. It's pretty neat. And this is just awesome. So like this is the inside of the box. But this is the front. And there's skulls and all kinds of stuff around it this is definitely really it's actually not light either and if I'm not mistaken I believe this lights up yes it does so I'm gonna go find some batteries for this we're gonna see what it looks like Alright guys, now we have some batteries in it, and let's turn her on. There's two modes here. One says no sound, and I don't see anything different here, no sound. There's uh, nothing going on here. What if I take it off? Oh, it's blue. It's all blue and lighting up around it. See that? The eyes are lighting up and glowing in and out. I guess you can see a little better here. The eyes glow all the way around, it looks like. If you put this back on, it just goes off. There's nothing going on around it. nothing it's actually really neat the way this sits on here uh, I'm looking at it because as it's on you know it's one big piece but they're holding on to each other around it that's that's really neat let's try the other mode here obviously you take it off it starts glowing again turn it off turn it on you know nothing it makes noise. It knows that it's there. So if it knows that it's there, Assuming this is the noise in the game. Let me put this back on. It goes away. Take it off. It's 
pretty neat actually. It's definitely interesting. Is this on the right way or might I have it backwards? I think I have it backwards actually. Yeah. So that's the way it's supposed to sit. Get you a different angle of it here, actually. And this is it. And as if you were to take it off, the whole front lights up. And that's really, really neat. That a lot actually. <laughs> Which is really cool. And that is And this is the Call of Duty Collector's Edition. Mystery box. Definitely really neat. And I said I like it a lot actually. It's definitely cool. Sound effects, the lights in it, the eyes, all lighting up sounds definitely pretty decent and they actually gave you the game with it some big collector's editions don't even do that anymore so that was definitely a plus without that and i'm definitely happy with it without a doubt well let me guys let me know how you guys like this video uh let me know what you think about the game uh, I'm not a huge online player anymore. I mainly do it for the, the story mode, but Call of Duty's always been about online. So let me guys know what you think. Let me know what you think about this uh, collector's edition. Comment below, subscribe, tell your friends. And uh, this is Neo Geo Keeps. And uh, I'm telling you guys, keep smashing them buttons. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.